let me reload this one. So let me open the definition of this. So this is a concrete class. That means this they should have instances. Test connection PR4 underscore rule underscore file binary. Okay, so into this table, what will be created? What will be saved? Rule instances. Your binary file rules, whatever that you create will get stored into the table. Let me give you that screenshots also. Binary file is an instance of, what is that? Rule file binary, rule dash, file dash, binary class. Okay. So the instances get stored into You click on the class name, rule binary file. Is it going to display the same what we have got before? Stored into this particular table. Okay. So this is a, a class where your binary file rules get stored. Maybe it has a secondary table or not. You need to verify that once. Did I close the help content or what? Chapo, Chapo, Evalu, and then Mundach Nathanina. I have been better than that. Evalu, Sorry, sorry, I like Okay. Okay, fine. So you can go through this one and you can just find out some more information about this. Binary file rules and each of the parameter what you see there, you can get the information from here. You proceed forward. Understanding by yourself. Most of the things I think we have covered. Okay. So next one. So next what we thought of discussing about. Apart from this, anything else? Hmm? Not single sign on. I'll tell you this one. So, APIs, Pega APIs. Let's discuss about Pega APIs. If you open any Pega API, look at here. See, leave about DevOps, system management. You remember, I, I used to tell you every time. Before Pega 8, we used to have an application called System Management Application. But that has been deprecated and been introduced in the Admin Studio as an option of management like resources and all. What we can do using System Management Application, I have, give, I have written that in the document as well. What we can do using System Management Application, what is that we can do? Using the admin panel, what admin studio, what you are doing, the same we can do using system management. Most of the things. Additional also there in that. Tell me what is that? You can just go ahead and manage agents. Means start the agent, stop the agent, raise the agent, and requesters management. Requesters you can remove or you can raise a requester. You can see the size of the clipboard of a requester. You can see the clipboard of a requester. Listener management, file listener and all we have brought up, right? Email listener, file listener using admin studio here. What we have, just let me go ahead. What is that? Admin studio and admin studio. What we were doing here, the resource management of uh, queues, uh, sorry, not queues, agent management, agent queues looking up and requesters management, requester management and listener management. All this we used to have in a different application 
called system management application. Apart from that, we used to have something called cash management. Cash management means you should be able to delete the cache from the application server uh, related tables and all like declarative cache, rule cache, rule assembly cache. Like this, there are different caches available. So now that is available here in system management. When you go to Pega APIs, those are being created as what type of APIs are this? Looking at this form, you should be able to tell me. REST. What protocol? REST. REST protocol. So if you look at here, these are REST protocol. And if you scroll down simply, this is what I wanted to tell you, cache. So you have different caches here, performance reassemble action, performance reload action, clear, something like ABA cache, I'm not pretty much sure. Clear conclusion cache and summary of the conclusion cache. And the one which we need to bother about much is rule cache. Anywhere you find that? Rule cache. So get declared the rules for rule key and rule cache. Get rule cache summary, clear rule cache. This is the one. Suppose if you wanted to remove the rule cache, whatever that you have so far. Previously, it was like this. In SMA, same you'll see rule cache. Click on the link of rule cache. You'll see a button called clear rule cache. If you click on the button, everything will be cleared. Now, it has been provided as Pega APIs. If you expand this API, this get, it is related to get, right? Similarly, what do you mean by get? Retrieve a get particular rule cache, simply. And here you go, delete is there. Delete instances from the rule cache. If you click on this delete, suppose if you want to delete the rule cache, what, which method you should go? Get post delete, which one? You have to go to delete. If you want to fetch only the cache from the cache table center, you have to go to get. In order to just go ahead and it is posting also, it is doing something clear. I need to check this once and see here give a rule key means one single specific rule cache that you wanted to remove from your system you have to provide that specific rule key rule rule key in order to clear the cache and all so otherwise simply if you just code and provide node id what is the node id of your system here you go ahead right? New systems and nodes from here also you should be able to access. This is the node ID, right? Just, just give me one minute. Just go ahead here, required. This is the node ID. And what is the rule INS key? The PJ INS key of a rule that you have to pass here. If you are going to pass this PJ INS key of the rule, then it is going to clear that cache cache of that particular rule. Let me go to the dev studio. Binary file is the rule which we have accessed recently. A to Z, where is that? How to get the PJ INS key? This is the page INS key. So you need to provide like this. And here you go with. Just let me try it out once. Why it is asking a username and password? I don't know. What is this username? STFM IMPL at the rate admin.com. Password rules. So this is the request URL and this is the response. What is the response? Successfully remove the instance of type something whatever that you have given with PGINSK of what you have given from the role cache. See, these are being provided as APIs. Can I consume this API from the UI that is being designed by myself? So can I design any user interface? And that user interface, I wanted to add into Admin Studio here. Go to Admin Studio 
and similarly you have overview resources and systems can I add something here called system management something like that let's say okay, cache management and on click of cache management I want to display you over here what rule I should call what type of rule is that already we have worked on it on click of this it is displaying a rule right here maybe this this menu automatically will get in menu I'll add something on click of that it is displaying this rule form what is the rule type of this rule form harness rule. inside harness you place button one clear rule cache for that on click of the button you need to pass the parameters instead of doing that you just create a drop down one is rule type activity section flow action like that on choosing the section you just display pg dynamics of all the section may be not a complete you can use the way you want to design you can design okay and you ultimately need to pass the system node current system node plus pg dynamics of the role what happened so whenever you pass on click of the button you pass those two values you need to make a call to this api once you make a call to this api and pass the parameters it is going to remove that particular instance from that that you can implement i i believe pega will come up with the design by from their end it is not been added as far as i know here in this apis is there just let's go to apis the one which we have access will see the same i have clicked on right side top menu right question mark and then i went to pega apis right the same you see again okay but here they have provided as a buttons here the same I want it in a different way to be designed to call this one. So what are the details that you have to know in order to call this? What details you need? Suppose the same I want you to design. The delete what I have done just now. I wanted you to create a screen where you place a button clear cache. Click on that. It should take the system ID. It should ask you PGDIS key provision. You add the PGDIS key, it should delete it. It has to delete means it has to call this REST API. If I have to call what inputs I need, what is the input I need? Model response. Sorry? Model response. Model? No, I'm sorry, sorry. I'll show you one of that. What is that? Which one I need? I'm showing you this clearly what is that I need when I want to consume this rest service. I need this URL. This is the URL I need. So in this URL, what are the parameters that you need to pass? Node ID and role key. These two parameters you have to pass. For this, you need to implement a design by yourself. You know how to consume a rest service. Okay, the same practice here also. See, apart from this, we have agents here. See here, agents. What is this? Fetch agent list. Do you already have this fetch agent list available? I cannot navigate this way and that way every time. Look at here. I will be logging into application again with a different operator ID. Do we have any other <coughs> developer operator ID? I'm sorry. What is that? STFM Devap Tuna. So here you go. Here I will show you Admin Studio. Okay, when you go to Admin Studio here, Resources, and in the Resources you have Agents. Click on Agents. What operation is being performed? It has fetched all the agents list that is being fetched. By an API, this one. Node ID you pass on the node ID. What are all the agents that are available? Those are being fetched. The same I'm asking for the cache also. For the cache, click on something. You should see something called cache like this. When you click on resources, you, you have seen agents, right? Like this, I want you to display something here called cache. When you click on cache, okay, it should fetch all the related caches. Role cache, role assembly cache, something like that. Something what you see here, related cache information, it has to fetch. In that, you should have options like clear, select, something like that. Similarly, what you see here for agents, 
which all the all agents is, is been implemented this api is being called there on click of the agents and in that just you are just going to start an agent this is also an api call where you need to pass the agent id how we are doing this in ui just go ahead here this is the agent select this agent and then click on start on click of the start here the api will be called passing this agent id agent key value here then it is going to start that particular agent in the back similarly you should have stop also get agent start an agent is post functionality restart an agent restart agent is an update it is going to stop and then update it back to one update is stop another update is again start okay and delete delete means it is using stopping an agent is being used as a delete method okay it is it will send agent id for delete method it is going to stop the agent this is also added here and apart from this there is something else called queue process is okay requesters see here requesters is also been added i believe resources you have requesters requesters if you click on requesters it should be loading all the requesters with the requester names and all the same is been available here as a api that is what requesters get all the requesters stop a requester delay a request pass a requester or restart a requester something like that is provided here okay so all these are been created as apis in your pega 8 application so these apis are been accordingly called so for some of the apis like requesters agents job schedules it is already available job monitor but the other things cache it is not yet been made available i think they will come up with a solution to add it there it will be again simply you need to click on one clear cache and pass the keys it will be done this is clear so this is some information about apis all these apis are created using which protocol rest protocol okay that you can see just by method names itself see case types are there right get case types get case type details see here if you provide id of a case type w-1 all the details will be fetched suppose your requirement is being given like fetch the details of any work object completely then you are not required to design your user interface to enter the case id and then on click of that displaying and all you fetch it obj open and then add it back to ui you are not required to do everything only you have to create ui case id on click of the button you call this rest rest api using the get method you pass the id what you have entered in the ui then this this will execute and this will bring up the data from the table you are not required to use obj methods and all so it has internal mechanism once the data is been retrieved in json format you need to assign to page property in ui if you give that page property whatever that you have used in ui to json output source the response okay then it will be automatically added to ui your work will be done in a single minute and using apis your work will be your execution will be faster and performance of the application is good will be good similarly you can also improve implement your own apis for your application processing update a case api you can implement if you want to implement it. okay so it's up to you how you want to design your application and assignment details also get all the assignments only the some of the specific assignment you wanted to get and you want to perform an action on the assignment some type of action like complete or cancel assignment that and all you can go ahead and call this rest apis okay so it will improve the performance and process, uh, processing performance of an application okay so like this apis are provided in pega from pega 8 only you'll see this i believe 7.4 also it is not there i'm not very much apis are there before also but this cache apis and all usage like this was not okay and here you go ahead it's not yet been completed just okay we'll see tomorrow it's already nine o'clock so i'll upload this video and send you this document we'll see rest of things tomorrow okay thank you for joining everyone for today for today everyone who has connected for eight o'clock match can exit the meeting